Welcome to the Trendy Outdoorsman. I've shown a lot of my friends this video series that I've created with everything that I've done behind me here, and a lot of them had a lot of different random questions. So I decided to put together a video of everything that I have, what it is, where I got it, and how I did it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, I'm going to go over my setup. Let's start with down here is my computer chair and my standing mat that I pull out when the desk is in standing position. It's a memory mat from Costco. It's really nice. Right here is where I installed the settings for the sit stand desk. The link will be below for the frame that I purchased and used. On top is the IKEA butcher board, I believe. Um, I don't recall the name of it, but I'll have a link below for that. Then I also installed this drawer right here because sometimes I just need to make quick notes and I need a pen and I hate having clutter on top of the desk. It is a really slick and small and slender drawer. I believe it's only about an inch and a quarter high. It's really nice and convenient and uh, does not get in the way. Uh, going further underneath here, you'll see I have the LED light strip. Um, I will link below the light strip. I believe it is 15 meters or maybe 15 feet. I can't remember. It just goes around the desk. I also have it tied into uh, a little smart plug and works via Alexa app or via Alexa. I have this little tiny USB charger here um, that has, I believe, three USB ports on it. That's an IKEA product. I have it going through those channels right there. All the way down here through those channels and into my surge protector right there. Basically, everything that you're looking at in that mess of wires is all controlled just with one wire going out right there into the foam wall board that I have there. So basically one wire, I can unplug that. I can move this entire desk set up with everything on it just with that one plug. Um, the motors for the sit stand desk are actually all built into the legs, but the controller is right here in the middle and all the other wires and everything are ran through the center channels and all plugged into the surge protector right here. Going further, I have two hard drives on top of the desk that are also plugged into here. Both my monitors are plugged into here. Pretty much everything is plugged in right through the surge protector. And you'll see all the wires that are neatly positioned as high as possible underneath of the desk because when you're actually standing, I didn't want to see any of that mess when you're standing. So on top of the desk, I have the audio engine a2 plus speakers, these are the wireless, although they're wired together with a uh, cable underneath of the table, and then they're Bluetooth wireless to the monitors. I have a mount for this guy, just a little aluminum one. This is my 2018 MacBook Pro. It's a 15 inch, and I use a USB-C from that to the LG Super Ultra Wide 49 that will charge the computer and also use the uh, display as a 5K display external for the MacBook. I have the arm here from Loctec. I don't believe it's designed for this 49, but it does work very well for the 49 based on the weight because it holds up to 33 feet. I'm sorry, 33 pounds. This particular monitor is only 27 pounds. What I really like about it is that it has the USB, which I ran underneath to that Ikea. So basically I can just charge anything via USB right from the mount right there. This little guy is my sensor for the lights. I can change the lights underneath of the desk um, with that little sensor there for different colors. And then going further, I have the Yeti, the Blue Yeti. This is the new one. This is the uh, Blue Yeti X, which has the software that it comes with and the metering. So I can actually see the metering here as you can see I'm talking. There's uh, two hard drives there. One of them is a time uh, machine for my iMac. Um, that's a two terabyte or maybe a four, I don't remember now. And then I just bought a 14 terabyte next to that. Um, and that guy there is essentially gonna be for all my 4K footage. Uh, the same mount that's on the 49 LG, I also have on the iMac, the 27 iMac 5K. Uh, same arm, 
but I do have to have a, a VESA adapter for the iMac in order to uh, to mount it. And you're supposed you can cut these off so you don't see it underneath. Um, it's not really easy to remove from here, but I actually like it underneath because I can actually put all my USBs uh, right here on the front as well as my micro SD uh, and also regular SD card. So that's really convenient so I don't have to reach around to the back of the computer port. Then I have another USB right there if I need to use another USB to charge. So everything is fully, fully accessible, pretty easy for me to plug and play. Everything's tied in. Both of these mount, they are fully adjustable. You can obviously uh, tilt, turn, you can lower. Um, it's a gas gas shock, so I've got it set right now kind of to where the height that I like. So, and then of course behind all this are these panels here. These are three inch foam panel that I actually found on Facebook Marketplace attached to a one inch foam panel that I got from Menards. Essentially I attached them to the one inch because they were curling pretty bad and I needed them to straighten out. So what I did is I literally screwed them all together and I'll have a video link below for, for what I did with that. And I have three of them. I believe they're nine foot, they were nine foot tall. I cut them to be eight foot tall. And uh, I want to guess they're about three or four foot across. So there's three of those panels for sound dampening that I have there. And then what I did is I cut out, you can see there a hole on that one and a hole on that one for the outlet, just in case I wanted to use an outlet for something. So that pretty much sums up the basis of my setup. I'll link everything below that I purchased, um, including this drawer. This is a really awesome addition if you don't want to have wires, or not wires, if you don't want to have pens and notepads and crap all over the top of the desk keeping it clean. This is a really nice convenient feature and it's not too bulky or gets in the way. As far as the sit stand desk, um, there's four presets and you can pick whichever one you'd like or you can manually have it go up and down by holding one of the arrows. So it's very easy, very convenient. And this is it going all the way down to one of my standard settings that I have for sitting. And I can get right to it. Um, obviously I use the 5K iMac for some of my work and I use the 15 MacBook Pro uh, Retina Touch Bar uh, for most of my heavy lifting because that's got a stronger processor and more power. But this way I can tap whichever one into this monitor. This monitor allows uh, a lots of different uh, features where you can actually have a split screen of both computers at the same time and work both of them with one set of keyboard. So that is extremely convenient and very easy to use. So this whole system flows really well together. And that is my setup. On the other side, I have another desk. This is my old desk that I use for my computer setup, um, where now I have the new one that's obviously the sit stand. On um, this one, I have a drawer kit that I purchased from Amazon because I don't have an Ikea nearby. It's very similar to the Alex, um, just a little smaller and a little cheap, a lot cheaper. Uh, here I have a lot of, uh, this is my camera charger. This is my GoPro battery charger. I have them linked to this as well as other charger cables. I drilled a hole in the back of it, uh, ran it out so that way I can keep all this clutter together inside of a drawer. You know, memory cards and cables and all kinds of charging crap. All in the top drawer, all confined. Second drawer I've got hard drives and basically USB based hard drives and also battery backups. Tons of them, just kind of extra batteries for travel. This is all my GoPro accessory drawer. This is kind of a random cleaning and camera cleaning and mounts and random camera stuff. And then this is just kind of random whatever's left over drone stuff and microphones and crap. So all of that is, is nicely confined to this. On top of the desk I have uh, Bose QuietComfort 35s. That's my go-to headphones. Uh, another MacBook Pro, that's for travel. It's a 12 inch, so it's perfect for traveling. I've got the Cricut Maker, just in case we decide to make any kind of projects time to time. Uh, shirts, glasses, whatever. The desk lamp, and I also have this mounted outlet and USB charger that's built into the uh, top of the desk there. Right now I'm charging my iPhone with it. So that's convenient, more space, more storage. Um, everything's kind of ran right into there. Nice and convenient. On this side I have these Vesta by Ikea kind of storage units. Um, still working on filling them, but mostly junk for 
green screen. There's a white sheet also, some other stuff. In here I have Cricut Maker stuff, as well as iPhone cases and looks like uh, camera travel gear, extra iPhone just in case I break or lose mine. And then this is all my travel gear for packing and airport and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, over here, this is kind of my junk drawer when it comes to cables and cords, travel adapters, um, just about any type of old cable to fit with old things. Um, I've got a CD-ROM drive, I've got a floppy disk drive just in case I ever come across those things. Down here I've got a camera, travel case, as well as a tripod. In the top drawers, going to be kind of old school pad and paper, notes. I've got a monitor that I built with a underwater camera that I created. Um, I made a camera system for ice fishing that I was playing around with, so I'm going to play around with that this year. Up here is just random crap, batteries, and uh, looks like my passport and some scissors and stuff, so just kind of storage. Um, I've got a Deuterra uh, essential oil diffuser. That's my wife's that I'm using in here for smell good smells to help me edit. And then in here is all my camera gear and, and gadgets. I've got my, my travel case. This is very convenient for my Sony A6500. When I travel, this is kind of a foam. Very, very small and also convenient for a carrying case. Uh, GoPro Hero 8. And uh, my lenses, I've got a 16 to 70 Zeiss. I've got a fi uh, fixed 50 pancake 1.8 and I'm using the 10 to 18 vlog, uh, for my vlog on, on the camera now. I've um, got the drone, that's the DJI Mavic Air, and all the fun accessories that come with it. I've got four batteries with a drone, charger, and some other fun accessories uh, for photo. For my other business, I do some photo stuff. So flash up there and some extra lights and, and uh, another tripod and some other goodies for, for video and for vlogging and for photography so all that is in there and a second computer chair just in case I have somebody come over that wants to sit with me so that is my office tour and setup thanks for watching my office setup I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions about anything that I did please comment below I'll also put links below for some of the things that I did in this setup as well as some of the other videos for the setup uh, about the mounting and the soundproofing and so forth uh, please stay tuned. There'll be more videos to come. Like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.